19 millimeter socket. Let's take all five of the lug nuts off and then remove the wheel. Take the hub cap off, if you have one. Take the wheel off. 15 millimeter socket, let's remove this nut. Okay, looks like we need some locking pliers on the back side. There we go, that's off. Now you can take these locking pliers off. Keep in mind when you use locking pliers like this, it does damage the boot. But either way, with struts, if they're just as old as the sway bar links, I always recommend replacing them together. There's a bracket here that has to come off. You don't have to take off this top bolt, but you do have to take off this bottom bolt, 13 millimeter socket. Now this comes off. There's an ABS wire that if you follow, it's clipped in right here. Unclip this ABS wire. Next, I want to take off these two 21 millimeter nuts and hold the bolt side with a 21 as well. I'm going to start at the top. There's one, the bolt's frozen. Take off the bottom. So I'm going to try to break these free with my impact gun first. If that doesn't work, we'll grab a breaker bar, but sometimes the vibrations will actually help. That one broke free. Let's try the bottom. Perfect. I'm going to put a nut back on the end of the bolt, make it flush with it. That way I have a nice flat surface to hammer on and I don't damage the threads. Drive these bolts out. Okay, once it's pretty much out, um, some of the way, you can take the nut off. Watch out for the ABS wire when you hammer this bottom one. I'm going to put the nut back on this one as well. Make it flush. There we go. Now be careful because the knuckle's going to want to drop a little bit. Don't pull it too far out. You don't want to separate your CV axle, but it's okay for it to go down a little bit. Push the strut back. Put the knuckle to the side like this, and if you wanted to tie it off with a bungee cord or anything, you can do that, but this one seems to be staying in place just fine, so I'm going to leave it like this. At the top, you have three 15 millimeter nuts that hold this strut on. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to leave the last one in just a little bit. And for this one, I'm going to bring it up about halfway, and then I'm going to hold the strut from the bottom because it's going to want to drop down. Okay. All right. Set this right here. And when you bring it down, make sure you don't grab any ABS wires with you by accident. Here it is. Slide this back in. Line it up with the bolt holes. Push it through, and I have my mounting nuts ready. That way I can start them on. Once you start one on, you can let go put on the other two, and I'll snug them up, but I won't torque them yet. You want to torque these with the weight of the vehicle on the ground, that way it pushes up on the strut, it seats itself into place, and you get it properly tightened. So I'm going to snug these up, and then we'll come back later. Bring the knuckle up into the strut. Looks like the strut needs to turn a little bit. There we go. Get your bolts. Get your bolts. Once they're lined up, push them through. You can drive them in with your hammer or rubber mallet, whatever you have. Okay, put the bottom one in. Get this bottom one in. You might have to push the knuckle in like that. Drive this one in. 
Perfect. Put the two nuts on. So before you bottom these out, the bottom bolt has an adjustment on it. So you actually want to push the knuckle in and hold it pressed in like that in order to line up everything. Obviously you need an alignment after this, so your alignment professional will uh, adjust it from there. But this is how you get it as close as possible to how it was before. Okay, that's one. Now you don't have to hold it once one's tight. Now let's torque them. 103 foot-pounds for both of these. I might have to end up holding the bolt. Looks like it's holding itself, so that's good. All right, these are both at 103. Let's put this back on with the 13-millimeter uh, bolt. Snug it up. Bring the sway bar link back into the strut. Reattach your nut. That's tight. Let's torque it to 35 foot-pounds. Let's put the wheel back on. On this particular model, this hubcap has to go on before the lug nuts because it gets held on by the lug nuts. So just make sure you match up this slot here with your valve stem. Push everything on, start on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out and then torque them to 100 foot-pounds. Snug them up. Now that everything's back together, the weight of the vehicle is back on the ground. Let's tighten these to 41 foot-pounds. Perfect. 